Hi, Sam here. Best practices are the workflows and techniques that are generally considered to improve the quality of work and work output. As a consultant, I've worked with dozens of different teams and seen a lot of different best practices applied. I've also seen the lack of best practices in teams and the effect. I think the right approach is for each team to be aware of best practices, workflows, and steps like developing and using coding standards to figure out the right balance for them. I don't have a prescription for every team. But let's talk specifically about coding standards. In this article, you'll see pros, cons, and steps to create your own coding standards. I also include my own coding standards, and in this video, I just wanted to touch on the coding template. So what's the use of a coding template? First of all, your code editor may be able to give you some sort of drag and drop or keyboard shortcut to create the coding templates and use them in your projects. If not, just have one file in your project that is just sitting there as a code template for use in copy and paste. That way each member of your team or even you as an individual on, you know, on a solo project can have a, some consistency across the code. The outlines and benefits of consistency is covered in the article. But why this particular order? Well, first of all, I do something what is called flower boxing, where I add a, a line that helps separate the different vertical sections. Some teams do not like that categorically. One of the things I think makes it very useful to have them is that it encourages code added today to be done in a certain order and code added 6, 12 months from now, five years from now, to be in the same order, right? So having those flower boxes in there, even marking an empty section is helpful for me. Then separating them in this particular order generally goes from a like what's most interesting up top to the nitty gritty details down below. We also have things like the unity methods separated into a particular section to see how much a given class relies on unity because it could help create discussion and thinking around maybe isolating code from the unity portion to help separate those two concerns. Um, that's, I think that's about all I wanted to mention here. Also having the template not only is the order respectable and, and communicated through it, but there's also hints at naming conventions and other more subtle parts of your best practices. Best practices should probably live as both templates and some sort of a document that d describes the how and the where, because it may also touch on things that can't be represented in a simple uh, C-sharp file, like ways to name th files, ways to organize the files, and overall project structure as well. Thank you. That's it.